from the IBA at Winchester, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. Good morning. Welcome to another Tuesday Bulletin of Engineering Information from the IBA. Today we take a closer look at the radio data system. RDS will make it easier to find the required program or station on VHF radio. In transmitter news, the last of the Channel 4 conversions at existing stations and the latest news of six new television relays. At Vaux in the Shetlands, Barrow in Furness in Cumbria, Cowling in North Yorkshire, Burbage at Buxton in Derbyshire, Hereford and Hastings Old Town. More details later, but first, RDS. The radio data system is an agreed European standard which uses digital data pulses inserted into the normal VHF radio broadcasts so that they are carried piggyback fashion on the ordinary radio programs. A phase shift keyed signal is transmitted at low level with a suppressed subcarrier, 57 kilohertz above the main carrier. The data rate at almost 1200 bits per second is a biphase modulated binary signal with a total deviation of plus and minus 2 kilohertz. From early next year, 18 independent local radio companies plan to transmit static data, that's non-changing information. This will include program identification, which enables the RDS receiver to find the chosen service and always select the strongest signal when the same program is broadcast on more than one transmitter. This is used in conjunction with the List of Alternative Frequencies code, which allows the radio to switch to a second transmitter with the same program but a stronger signal. Program service is another of the non-changing codes. Up to eight text characters can be displayed to show the name of the station. RDS will be particularly useful in car radios, making it easier to find a station or service when on the move. To demonstrate the operation of RDS, we've set up a receiver in our television studio here at Crawley Court to show the switching which would take place on a car journey from Dover towards Canterbury and then on in the general direction of London, a journey which could be made by a visitor to England from the continent. At Dover, the receiver can be set manually to the Invicta radio VHF frequency 97 MHz. Each transmitter carries a unique digital code. This enables the receiver to identify the programme. Then, as the motorist travels from Dover towards Canterbury, when near the edge of the Dover transmitter service area, the receiver will switch automatically to either Ashford or Dunkirk, without any noticeable break in reception. The only way the motorist will know there has been a change to another transmitter on a different frequency is by looking at the frequency display. If the receiver is switched to the Ashford transmitter, the frequency displayed will be 96.1 MHz. But if the Dunkirk transmitter provides the strongest signal, the display will indicate the frequency of that transmitter, 102.8 MHz. But RDS has even more to offer. Dynamic or changing data could also be transmitted. This would allow the local radio station to indicate that it's transmitting traffic information. And also for the duration of a traffic announcement, the receiver could be automatically set to a standard sound output level by the RDS signal. While on the car radio itself, operation of the traffic program button would allow the driver to receive traffic news from the nearest station to him. Operation of this button would temporarily override the program the driver was listening to and the traffic news would be heard at normal sound level. The motorists on the move will certainly find that the presence of RDS data on our VHF radio transmissions will make car radio listening easier and safer when driving while listeners at home will find it easier to find and tune to the VHF radio station of their choice. It should also put new vitality into the radio industry and should provide new opportunities for the retail trade. <laughs> 